Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be showing you the option of HSM with the use of REST machining. If we take a look at this particular part that we see here, what we've actually done here beforehand is we've actually machined this part with a larger tool, an 8 millimeter ball end mill, and when doing so, these particular corners that you see over here on the part were not machined for the simple reason that these corners are actually smaller than the tool radius of 4 millimeters of the tool that we used before. In order to finish these areas, we have the option called rest machining where the option will actually pick out every single one of those corners automatically and machine only those areas. Let's take a look exactly how this works. If I were to start my operation, and I'll use the option of HSM, I'll choose the option of REST machining. Now the tool that I will be using in this particular case will be a 4 millimeter ball and mill with a 2 millimeter radius. Now in my constraint boundaries I'll use the entire part as shown here. And if I go into my reference tool, in this area is the area where I'll tell it what was the previous tool that worked there. The previous tool that I used, like I said, was an 8 millimeter ball and mill. So I'm going to write down over here 8.2 so we can have a little bit of an overlap between the tool passes uh, as we work on the part itself. Now in my passes area, we have our step down and step over, and I'm going to have this at 0.1 millimeters. Now we have here also the option of steep threshold. Steep threshold allows us to work either in a 90 degree angle, in other words it will actually finish every single one of those corners whether it be vertical or horizontal working on a constant Z, a, a constant step over on those parts. We also have the option of 45 degrees where the horizontal will work with a constant step over whereas the vertical areas will work in a constant Z fashion and we also have the option of zero degrees where every single one of those will be actually uh, perpendicular to the tool path itself. In this particular case I'll first start off with my 90 degrees and in my link area I'm going to use climb milling. Now if I do save and calculate, we'll show you in a moment the simulation itself. If we take a look at now at our simulation, you'll note that the tool path is being done around every single one of those corners. Nothing will be left out. And it's actually working, slowly working its way in and around. When it finishes that area, it'll pick up the next area that it has to work on and work in every single one of those corners not leaving anything out and if we actually zoom into some of those areas you'll note actually the overlap between the tool pass itself as, as shown over here and this is done on the entire part now if we take a look as you see we have a complete overpass of every single one of those parts of every single one of those corners and it was completely machined now let's go out of this operation for a moment and this was actually done using the option of 90 degrees. Let's take a look what happens if I change that option and we'll go back into our passes and this time we'll change it from steep threshold of 90 we'll change it to 45. Now as I've showed you before the, the 45 degree angle will be going in a bi-directional option but let me go back into my passes and when I use my steep threshold of 45 degrees, it'll work on the shallow areas using the uh, option of sort of like a constant step over. And the steep areas, it will be using a constant Z. Now, I can actually, I have actually a filter that can actually say, you know, only do the areas that are steep or only do the areas that are shallow or both together. This option is actually in this area called areas and instead of all I can say I only want to do the steep areas. Now if I do save and calculate we'll take a look at our simulation of the part. You'll note now in the simulation 
that it is only working in the steep areas itself as shown over here but these areas will not be worked on at all only the steep areas will be worked on as we can see around the entire part now if I have to go back into the part itself and I'll make a specific change and this time instead of area steep I'll use all and now when I do save and calculate you'll see that I'll actually work on all those areas but the steep areas will work as you've seen before and the shallow areas will actually work across in the constant step over fashion if we take a look at our simulation now you'll see that the tool pass is working on a const on on these areas only f in the steep areas first and then when it completes those areas it'll now start working on the areas where that are shallow and it'll do that over here and it'll also complete in these other areas over here and you'll note that there's a perfect overlap between the tool tool passes in itself thank you for joining us on solid professor take care and have a nice day